I cannot think of a better qualified person to tell us more about uh, Rossellini. So please welcome Adriano Tra. I will speak about uh, the three films Rossellini did soon after the war, Open City, Paisan and Germany are Zero. These films were uh, characterized by a certain idea of realism, a new kind of realism. If I have to define the kind of realism typical of Rossellini, I will use this formula. Uh, the act of seeing with one's own eyes, which is the etymological meaning of the word autopsy. Soon after the war, Rossellini wanted people to remember what happened just a few months or a few years before. Rossini insisted that you have to look at our past because we must understand our past so that we can go over this past to conquer a liberty that we, we have denied ourselves. So you have to look with uh, your own eyes to reality, and reality is not always wonderful, it can be tragic. As, for example, in the scene of the torture in Open City, the German officer says, look, priest, guarda prete, which in Italian is very hard, and uh, he hoped that the priest will be moved by this and, and talk and say something, but he, he doesn't hear what, what the German officer is saying to him. And he makes a, a gesture touching the head of his companion. And you must understand, this is a communist and he's a priest. They are, from an ideological point of view, in opposite positions. But for Rossellini at that time was important to say we must collaborate between us if we share the idea that we have to overcome fascism, Nazism, we have to be all together. Open City is a film that from a, a formal point of view is quite a classical movie with many characters, a well-structured narrative, and uh, what is new is the fact that all the film, mainly, most of the film was shot in the streets of Rome, open air. This was quite a novelty for Italian cinema at that time. But what, all, obviously the theme of the film, the fact of the resistance of Roman people during Nazis' occupation of Rome, it was a, a new theme. The film he made soon after uh, Open City was Paisan. This film was co-produced by the Americans, by an independent producer and distributor called Joseph Burstyn. Paisan was done without a script, improvising day by day. And it was a film structured in six episodes, which begins in Sicily and go up to Italy, then there is a Naples episode, then the Roman episode, then the Florence episode, then a Romagna episode, and then it ends in the north of Italy, in a moment in which the north of Italy was still occupied by the Nazi army on the river of the Po River. Uh, this episodic structure was quite unusual for the time. Each episode deals with the tentative by Italians to understand Americans, to understand the American troops which are liberating Italy from the south to the north. It takes place during the winter 1943-1944, but it was shot just one year later in 40, two years later in 46. The second episode takes place in Naples and is a story between a, a black GI and a, a, 
and uh, Shusha and, uh, and, and Neapolitan boy. It is a scene in which the boy takes the American soldier, which is drunk, uh, to a puppet theater. I see this scene as a metaphor of cinema. The, they, are, they are looking to, to a show which is like a screen. Something is happening that suddenly interests the black soldier because there is a, a, a fight between a black puppet, a, a Moro, a Moro, and a white puppet. He enters into the screen. Is so taken by the illusion of reality that he enters into the screen. And this is the same kind of cinema that Rossellini apparently employs. You look at the film, at his, this film, the realism of this film, and you have the feeling that you are inside the screen. But this is just an illusion. Only going beyond the illusion of reality you can really be, try to establish a dialogue. The next uh, film he made uh, was shot in Germany. You can see that from open city to Germany at zero, he opened his, the wideness of his look to reality. He, he looks at the story of a young boy, which is uh, who meets uh, and, and his ex-teacher, who, who is a Nazi, and this after the war. He's talking about the fact that his father is ill, and so the, the, the teacher says something like, you have to eliminate. Uh, and he commits um, uh, a, a parasite. And at the end of the film, he suicides himself. Something to say, this is what Nazis produced uh, the, 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 the suicide of a young boy. To Rossellini, the idea of these first films made after the war was we, uh, which all of them, all of them ends with, with a death. Uh, just to synthesize, uh, synthesize uh, I would say you have to look with your own eyes to death if you want to conquer life. They are not pessimistic films. There is a light, but this is something that is up to the spectator to feel. He just observes what's happening with a lucid eye, with a glacial sometimes eye, he collect informations for the spectator and this, this collection of information is apparently negative but it is because you have to look with your own eyes to the negative if you want to overcome the negative and to transform it into a positive way of living. He was very, very prominent in Italy. Did he ever leave Italy to make films in a uh, different country? Yes. He made one more film in Germany mm -hmm. in, 19, in 19 with Ingrid Bergman. Ah, uh, that's in 19, what I remember. 1954 <laughs> called Fear. And uh, during his television period, he made a film in France, in Paris called La, The Taking of Power of uh, Louis XIV. The most important film he made abroad was India, India Matri Bhumi, which means in India Mother Earth. This was the experience that changed the life of Rossellini. There is a, a Rossellini before India and a Rossellini after India. Thank you so much to Adriano.